Okay, so here are the controls for the bag clamp filler. What you have, you have a, uh, in the beginning here, you have your auto run. This is gonna be your, what I would call your run screen. Um, you have your start button to start the automatic mode, which relies off of the foot switch you see here. Um, on this screen, you can see you have your, your weights, uh, what your preact is, and what the preact does, it will calculate the previous weight and then allow the machine to run uh, a little bit more or less as needed to get to the correct weight. Um, in this screen, you can also select your recipe, and then you also can edit your recipe. So this is what the recipe screen looks like. Um, what you have here, as you can see, you can pick turns, so it'll fill by the amount of turns. Time mode, so it'll fill, again, by the amount of time, where you have your weight mode. Uh, with the weight mode, you put your fill amount in, your gross weight, so we're looking at 50 pounds, and then you put in your dribble amount. So what happens is it'll fill to, at this point, it's at seven pounds. What it'll do, it'll fill to 43 pounds, It'll go into a slow speed, uh, turning the auger, and it will dribble out the last seven pounds. Okay, you have your uh, setup screen here. You have a fill start delay. What the fill start delay is, once you hit the foot switch, how long until the actual auger starts to turn. Uh, when you do hit the foot switch, the bag clamp itself, as you can see here, that clamp will close and hold the bag and then it will wait the amount of time that you have in that fill start delay. Right now it's three seconds. Uh, your next is delay to open clamp after the fill is done is at five seconds. So once the fill is complete, it'll wait the amount of time that's in there until it will release the bag. Uh, you have an agitation shut off, which will if you're in continuous mode and then you shut down and you stop the machine, it will turn off the agitation after the amount of time that is in that box. Right now it says 10 minutes. Your increment and decrement amount, that is when you're on your run screen and you have this less or more. So you can see it went to 50.10. So that's where that comes into play. Uh, you also have now a low level delay. Um, I guess you do not have a level control on here for automatic bulk filling, so that will not, you will not use that at all. You have a manual mode. This will allow you to jog the auger. This will be your agitation with fill, so what will happen when you jog at the agitation will turn, or you can have continuous, so it just turns constantly. Um, you can also open and close the bag clamp. Scale calibration. Um, the scale is calibrated right now, um, but if you had to calibrate it, what you do is you're gonna put on a low weight, which is zero. So you, nothing on the scale, um, and then what you'll do is you hit low weight on scale, and it zeroes out. For your high weight, you're going to put on, uh, I put on 80.61. Uh, you put that on, and you hit high weight is on scale. Uh, the reason I did 80.61, you want to be close to the full uh, load of this of the uh, way cell and this way cell is uh, 50 kilogram so you're looking at 110 pounds um, and I also did minus the 10 pounds for the bag clamp unit itself uh, this is your fill motor turns your fill motor on and turns it off um, this is your bag clamp just so you can get a Look at it, two cylinders. This is your solenoid valve that is working the bag clamp. Uh, we have that on a, a plug-in cord. 
So you can unplug the solenoid valve. You're also able to unplug the scale here. And then you can pull that whole frame of the bag clamp away if you just wanted to use the filler itself. What I'm gonna do now, just do a uh, test fill for you. So you're gonna go to your automatic screen. You're gonna hit start. Turn on your fill motor. And you hit your foot switch. into the slow turns and then shuts off at 50 pounds.